Hey guys, it's Rob from Australian Camping and 4 Drives again. Hey, uh, we are out here at a lovely little spot. It's a little secret location. Uh, we've got a beautiful little watercourse floating past us over here. And a uh, nice big open campground area. Um, today, hey, I thought I'd uh, have a chat with you about our camp setup. And in particular, the awning that I put on our uh, dot trailer. So, some of you guys might be familiar with the, the dot trailers. They were made by Drifter. They're no longer manufactured. But uh, I want to show you this because uh, you can retrofit it to some of the older dots if you wanted to. Uh, one of the problems that you had with some of the, the dots is, was with the awnings. The awnings, you really needed two people to put them up. And uh, the beauty about this particular awning is you don't. You can do this one-handed easily. So I just thought I'd just show you the awning that's sitting over here. So we'll just walk under it because it's probably a bit dark in here at the moment by the looks of it. But um, this awning is massive. Uh, it covers the kitchen fully. So you'll see over here, I've actually got one wall just sitting up over the side over there. And that's just because we have afternoon sunlight coming in. I didn't want this area getting too hot in the afternoons. Um, you, you don't have to have poles. Now I've uh, decided to put some poles in, the, in, in, in some locations. So I've got a pole sitting up over here. Um, haven't got one over the side over there. Uh, no poles all around here. But uh, we have got poles sitting up over the side over there as well. Now if it does get windy, hey, I just generally just put a pole just in these things. They come with little holes just sitting up inside them that you can uh, add um, poles there to it as well if you wanted to. Something I've done a little bit different on, on this awning is I've actually gone and mounted um, some light, lights up on them. So these are our Drifter Stockton lights. So I've actually mounted them up on top up there. And all, you can see up in, in here what I've actually done. I've actually just put a screw straight in through the aluminium and uh, just to actually get them up there. Then you've got uh, the black button up here, you've got a black button and an orange button. Your black button does your white lights and uh, your orange button does your orange lights. That's good for uh, bugs and lots of stuff. Now the lights that fit up here, these are the 590mm lights. So these are the 590mm longs. So I've got one sitting here. I've put another one up over here and I found that you can actually get the 1000mm lights. I'll just pop around the other side so you can see it's a bit clearer. So these are the 1000 uh, mil lights that, that uh, they sell at Drifter Stockton as well. They'll actually fit on this bar and you can also put one over on this bar. Now at the time I, I didn't have another uh, 1000 mil light so I just used another 590 instead. So I've got 590 over here and another one just sitting up over the side over here. So really the lights you probably want, uh, I think you definitely want this one, this one uh, and this one up over here, these ones. So, because these are really handy, especially when you're cooking hay, I just turn this on at night time and it gives me all the light I need. Now, one thing I have done as well, is I put a dimmer control just sitting up over the side over here, so I can adjust the brightness of these lights, just by adjusting that, and you'll see, it gets really bright. And uh, you can just use a little dimmer control, you just dial it up and down, and you'll see how that affects the brightness of the lights as well, so. So yeah, so you can do that as well with them. Um, now, I've run on my cabling, just runs up the top, of the awning just up and over here and uh, same thing on this side it's just running up over the top just up there you just be careful hey that you don't jam it up inside here so just before you pack it away make sure that your cabling is out of the way so it's not going to get all jammed up hey um, then I ran one I've got a couple of splitters in this um, I've got I think it's one splitter here another splitter over here and then I put an extension cable in between which goes over there with another splitter which then runs off to I'll show you the splitters. Oh, the splitter just sitting up over here. Just has two cables up there. And one goes off this way and one goes off the other way. And I just put it underneath the Velcro. Um, so you can just undo that Velcro and just put it up underneath that. So that's how I've done it at the moment. Um, it works pretty well. Pretty happy with that. Uh, I noticed with the dot trailer, um, when you get your, when you've got this gutter uh, on your trailer, you'll have a little piece of uh, fabric that's sitting inside here. You can actually unpick that fabric and um, and yeah, you can use that as your gutter still. So the exact same gutter that was on my dot trailer, I'm just using here as well. Um, I actually have purchased the walls, I haven't put them all up yet. I mean, I don't know, I find it's, it's fantastic without them, but I think if the weather turned foul, you know, it would be a useful little thing to add onto it as well. Uh, oh, the other thing too about the lighting, I almost forgot. So the cigarette socket, I have plugged my cigarette socket in here and I actually disconnect it from here. This part here come, all comes off it. And then I just get this little bit of cable that's sitting here I tuck it up underneath here and I pack that away. So when I come to set the, the awning up, I just unplug that and, uh, sorry, plug that back in and uh, plug in the cigarette socket over the side over there. I may even look into actually getting that wide up permanently. Uh, might be another option. Just with a little plug just uh, dangling down like that so you can just plug it in and pull it out if you need to ever take the awning off as, as well. 
Um, the beauty about uh, using these on the dock trailers is that you can actually use this little pen. You can remove that little pen on them and you can lift the whole awning up, which allows you to have this at a, your awning an adjustable height. So some trailers I know have this at a fixed height and that's a bit of an issue. We were looking at it on the weekend and over this side over here, it was facing uh, uphill and uh, the gap between the, uh, the awning and the ground uh, was getting pretty narrow uh, for your head, you know, to walk underneath. But uh, with having those brackets here, you can actually, you have, we have little holes in these things, so you can actually slide the whole thing up and lift it up and uh, that works really well. These are fantastically easy to, to pack away also. Um, essentially on these awnings, hey, you've got um, this side up over here. It just folds around over here first of all, and, uh, and then you get the other side, fold that back around, roll it up, zip it up and you're done. And you can do that one person, you don't need two people to do that. That was a downside I was finding uh, with my other awning. Um, it, it, you need two people essentially to use them. Um, Bob's up, got it, uh, the other awning just sitting up over here. I'll show you it just so you know. So this is the, the older style awning that you can utilize. So this is the awning as, as they come with the dots. Um, they have extra poles. So like this is an extra pole you've got to add into it. That's an extra pole you add into it as well. These two are extra poles you put in. That's an extra pole, that's an extra pole. Um, the rest of them though, they all hinge up so the legs actually hinge up underneath it. So I just thought I'd show you something that uh, Stephen um, and myself, we were just mucking around with the awning here and we were just noticing like there's just a, a little bit of sag just in this one here. I'll just, just hop underneath here so you can see what I'm talking about. So these are the ones where the two bars go pretty much straight out and there's a bit of sag in. We're just trying to figure out exactly why. And Stephen had the idea of um, changing this this point here instead of we've been pulling it down down the bottom down here but now we've changed it we've, we've hooked it up up higher so um, on the dot trailers you've got this little uh, part that lifts up it's like a handrail for when you're walking up in, into the dot so we put the handrail up and then we attach it to that and pull that nice and tight hey and uh, it works much better so you need to make sure you've got all these loosened off first of all so if you've got all these loose Slacken all them off first of all before you do it. Make sure you've got them all nice and tight. And then once you've done it, then just go around and just tighten them up. Give them, you just want a little bit of a, like a, a so the water's gonna come straight down, down there instead. And uh, that's much better. That works really good. So look, there's a little pointer for you. If you want to um, uh, try and uh, get this so it's nice and tight, adjust this point here so that it's pulling pretty much straight. If you can, the higher up you can get it, the better. Hey guys, so I thought we'd show you how you pack away this awning. Um, it's pretty simple. We're going to start around the side around here. I'll just unclip it and, uh, and we'll fold it around. Then we'll go the other side and we'll fold that around. So you actually get to see how quick it is uh, to actually fold away and pack up uh, here now as well.
Hold on. <laughs>